I got a fish on. Oh, it's a nice plunder. Check him out. So you guys see? So this is the bridge we're going to fish today, Claude Varn Bridge, up in St. Augustine. It's crazy inlet, stay tuned. This is just a little bit of history of Matanza Inlet. Hey, this is Vlad. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got awesome content coming up. Take a look at this. We have fished this inlet for the longest while. All different type of fish we've got. Just look at what's going on today. So we were over there catching mullet earlier. Let me take you over and show you how we got our mullet for coming for fishing here. This is my buddy throwing the net. You know, the fish wasn't available at the inlet to bait at that time. So we had to go to the back here and catch the fish. We've got tons of baby mullet and that's what we want. This is what catches the big fish at the inlet. Then. So we went and caught some mullet this morning. And this is usually the bait of choice at the inlet. Tim, what are you using today, Tim? Live sand, please. Live sand, yeah. please. Yeah. Show them the weight, see? He has a very similar setup. He's gonna just put, are you gonna put this on the pilings? No, you're gonna put it out. Okay. See, he's working with the current. So when you're coming here, it's good to read the tides. Alright, let me go over and check my rods. See? Everyone's got a net at the inlet. I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Let's see. Oh, it's a nice plunder. Check him out. Check on my first plunder. Him on the other side, and I got a nice bite on this side. That's what they call the Matanza Flatties. Of course, it would be nice if you get a net, you know. So that's what we're here for. Flunder, reds. See, I was just speaking about the net on the other side. And that's what we need the net for. Lift it up, lift it up. There we go. We are not playing today. Let's see. There he is. See? It's a big one, Ash. Look. So you guys see? Yep. See, that's the one I just put the mullet on. And there he goes. I saw the hit from over there. I'm talking to Tim about sheep's head. Let's go measure him and we'll take a good measurement. It's good to have this ruler because if FWC comes around, you don't have a the proper measurement, you get a good find. So he's at 18 inches. Good size. So we're gonna go get some mullet. So you gotta get a cast net with a very long rope to fish for mullet here. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. We're just looking to see if we see any baits in the water. So anytime you're fishing for mullet at this inlet, you gotta get a long rope and a bigger cast net. Small cast nets would not work here. Are we gonna throw it off the bridge into the moving current? Are we gonna locate the, locate the mullet first? So I was taking the mullet to the bucket. I saw my buddy Tim got this big redfish. Oh, so nice take red. A look at this. Hold on, Tim. Let me see that red. Let me see the red. Here's Tim and his big red. Nice. Probably 23, 24 inches. Nice. That's what we're after today. Big redfish. Did you want the mullet? 
gonna, I'm gonna throw it all over. You can take it. I don't need any. We're gonna try to get some mullet right here. Oh yeah, look, lots of mullet in the corner there. I see tons of them there. Look at mullets in the water. Look. Check the school out. Do you want it? Do you want it? Only one. Only one? All right, let me go throw it in. Come back home. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I'll throw them back. Yeah, yeah. No, no, don't throw that was asking you. Do you want it? Okay. But I'm gonna get some bigger ones. Let's go talk to an expert from the bridge. That's biting reds. Yeah. What are you catching the sheep set with? Chili crabs. And the drums? Chili crabs and live shrimp. You caught any flounder lately? Yesterday. Caught two bags from yesterday. Oh. Yeah. I came with some mullet. What, are you, what, did you catch the, what did you catch the flounder on yesterday? Uh, live shrimp. Yeah? Live shrimp. Okay. See you guys? Cut bait. A lot of cut bait too. When you come to the inlet, oh yeah. you, gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Everybody here is expert fishing, you know, we know everybody lines up. You got your bait. See? You got cut mullet for the reds later. Yeah. You got your bait right here, Reds? Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. He's gonna cut it up probably in four. Yep. Did you bring any live fiddlers? Yeah, 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 there it is. Yeah. Uh, our, see what everybody, see what everyone walks with? You gotta get a net. Because if you don't get a net, and somebody comes to help you, you're screwed. That's right. You hook into that big fish or a trophy fish, how are you, how are you gonna bring it up? Yeah, you gotta get that net. See? So these are what a jet ski is gonna come and do. They're gonna go right between every one line. Tim, Tim lost his rod a few days ago. Yep, one of, one of these guys, or someone on jet ski, pulled Tim, that's Tim over there, pulled. See, look, the guys are telling them, move aside, but they don't care. They should be going through the boat lane, which is further down to the left. Looks like some mangrove snappers are waiting. Let's see what this is. Snappers. Ah, he's great snapper. This is a big flounder. Oh, oh, he's bigger than the last one. Let me get back my bait. Oh yeah, I got back my bait. Save him. Yesterday we did really well at the internet, so I came back today. Didn't even get a chance to put the camera on. So just set up the rods. First drop, mangrove snapples. Let's take a quick measurement before we put him in the cooler so we can see what it is. That's the correct way to measure the fish. So it's over 10. 10 is the legal size and this is past 11.
Something just took it again. Oh yeah, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a nice plunder. Way out there, look at that. I'm just gonna have to lift him up because I got no one here with a net to help me today. Just on the deck. Perfect. Look at that. Nice one. Yeah. We got a fish on. I just saw the hit. Let's see what it is. What is it? It's a flounder again, and it's a big one. Not too big, I'll probably just lift him up. Let's see. He falls off, he falls off. There we go. Big boy for today. <laughs> That's sweet. Fl it's a flounder. to show you the danger these guys are struggling to go back into the inlet they can't even make it back look one of them is in the water lost the oar check this one out guys there's a couple of people in the water trying to go with the kayak out they're probably coming in back now and the current is so strong they can't even make it back look. one of them is in the water on the other side of the kayak So they probably best bet is to go on the bank and sit and wait till the tide comes back this way. See how strong the current is pulling out? So they look like they were fishing also. Now oh, look at this guy. Look at the speed that he's coming with. It's a no way. This area you gotta slow down. We're still waiting on that tide to turn. A lot of people usually do that. They would walk over from the shore to the sandbanks and then they will get trapped. Rescue team usually have to go get them. So it looks like they're gonna go for the other bank. Cause that's where there's no current. But this this side of the inlet, lots of current. Oh, I just got hit. Oh my, it's a nice hit. Oh, come back and take it. Take it, baby. There we go. Let's see what it is. It's a nice snapper. Catch a nice snapper. Watching the rescue going on over there. Check it out. Sometimes when you're up at the inlet, you just gotta be careful where your rods are and the line because that these guys sometimes pull people rods over when it they're just going under the pier and under the bridge and the line get pulled over. See? Let's look at this. Now you see? He just passed right by my line. Right through. Went out the other side. And if you're ever at inlet, this is a good area to park. It's just before you get on the bridge. You can only park on one side. And if you look straight ahead, there used to be a gas station. Not anymore. It's closed down. 
and there's also some bathroom facility. What a way to close out this weekend. Lots of plunder and snap on. Hey, just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you guys found this video interesting and got some information out of it. And as always, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon in my next videos. Here's one of those big plunders that we caught.